Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Today is October 13, 2014. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the episode of Gotham called Arkham. Stop listening now, major spoilers, here we go. It's season one, episode four, and <laughs> once again, man, Gotham continues to bring forth a high standard of television. And for a DC Comics fanboy like myself, this is something that is just absolutely beautiful, man. Um, tonight, we got to see the beginning of Gotham. And, well, I guess, oh, excuse me, the beginning of Arkham Asylum and the end of Arkham City, if you, if you, if you kind of understand what I'm saying there. Um, they had a um, city council vote on the future of Arkham District. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to, I guess, do a like area beautification to where they um, give um, affordable housing units and they also provide an establishment for establishment to help house the mentally ill. And obviously, I mean, if you're a fan of, you know, Batman, if you know anything about Batman, you know that if, if they say Arkham, we're talking about Arkham Asylum we're talking about the Joker we're talking about the future location to where you uh, house every single villain that ever <laughs> that is that is I guess ever uh, reigned terror upon Gotham City, man. And it's it's really kind of fascinating to see that because um, tonight we got introduced to this guy, um, which was a bad guy, um, Richard Gilman. But we don't really know his name because Richard Gilman was dead for five years and this guy was taking his name, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, he had this little device and this device was like um, two, two metal objects and two metal objects, they were uh, combined together and twisted together and they create like a, a pistol or a weapon. And the weapon, <laughs> if you look down the barrel, it will shoot into your eye and blow your brains out pretty much. And it was just kind of cool to see how twisted and sick this guy was. And I guess to see the possibility of where he'd end up at. And that would be in Arkham Asylum. Um, you get to see a little bit more a uh, relationship between um, uh, Jim Gordon and um, Harvey Bullock. I, I think that as the season continues on, and we're only in episode four, it's really fascinating to see... Um, <laughs> to see their relationship man you know it's a little bit more trust um bullock still continues to kind of test gordon you know he calls him crazy he says things like you know you shouldn't be doing this you know kind of give it up you know why don't you take the easy road instead of the hard road and it seems like you know jim gordon continues to do that now with jim gordon you know continuing on um the hard path to success which is the right path you know, uh, <laughs> I guess the, the hard right over the easy wrong, um, it has cost him his relationship with Barbara. And Barbara, um, she kind of gave uh, Jim pretty much an ultimatum. She said, listen, this is what's going to happen. Either you come home early, you give up Gotham City, or you lose me. And they showed Jim Gordon standing in the middle of <laughs> GCPD. And Barbara walking out, and it was one of those moments where just like, dang, man, that's crazy. And and now I kind of even like this character a little bit more because he sacrificed so much for Gotham. It's it's just fascinating, man. Um, going back to Fish Mooney real quick. There's this new girl called Liza, um, and pretty much Fish Mooney is looking for a weapon to kind of help her assist taking down all of the big bosses inside of Gotham City, okay? And <laughs> she has um, two females, right? They're kind of auditioning for a role inside of Fish Mooney's club. And then all of a sudden, Fish Mooney comes with this idea that there's only one position. Um, so the two of you, if you want this position, you have to fight it out. And the one that comes on top looks like Harley Quinn. It smells like Harley Quinn. It feels like Harley Quinn. I'm thinking it's Harley Quinn. Her name is Liza, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is Harley Quinn, man. And I think this is the beginning of Harley Quinn. Let's just go ahead and call it that. Or maybe it's like another character that I don't know about, but most likely I think it's Harley Quinn. Or at least a nod to Harley Quinn. Fish Mooney is still the best character on Gotham right now. Uh, coming in second would have to be Penguin. And the reason why I say that tonight, Penguin, 
he kind of showed us why he's the the boss and why he is the one that is going to be causing chaos around Gotham City. And it all starts with a little bit of sweet pastries being brought to, I guess you can say, his early gang members that helped him stage this heist. And the heist went well, but <laughs> Penguin killed them and took the money. It was just fascinating, man. So now he's with uh, Don Maroney, who is the dude off of Dexter. If you remember Dexter, if you watch Dexter, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, he's there, and uh, he's now making his way up the ranks inside of, I guess, the mafia of Gotham City. Um, other than that, man, uh, Bruce Wayne, a young Bruce Wayne, is, is continuing to be mentored by Jim Gordon. Um, Alfred and Bruce Wayne's relationship is still good. Alfred and Jim Gordon's relationship is beginning to, um, I guess you can say, become a little bit more established. And, you know, Alfred is just getting used to him, I guess you can say, because he's going to be around forever as long as Master Wayne has anything to say about it. Other than that, man, we did get to see a little bit of uh, the Riddler, a.k.a. Ed. Um, we didn't see Poison Ivy. Um didn't even see that young Clark Kent guy that I thought was Clark Kent. Didn't see him again. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. If I missed anything, put it in the comment box. Um, put it below. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Once again, guys, I couldn't do this without you, man. We're past the thousand subscribers. We're past the million uh, views. Life is good, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to continue bringing content to you. Um, I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching and, uh, I'll have a more in-depth review maybe in the next two or three days. Thanks again for watching. Right here.